Sargassum is a type of open ocean algae that is only found in the Atlantic Ocean and provides refuge for migratory species. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, says sargassum plays a role in beach nourishment and is an important element in shoreline stability. In excessive amounts, it may result in beach erosion and disruption in the visual landscape. These fishermen in St. Thomas say they are losing revenue because of it. Coming like high grass across all the fish them for now get needed. So fishermen are suffer, brother. We are suffer real hard. 34 years now we have fish. 34? Fish. Yeah. See, net them that can't go in the boat. See? But for going in the boat, alone grass. Can't fish. Can't go out. That's it. So we can't do nothing. We have to stand, stand still. We can't go. See, see all the boat them push up on the land? Some in the water and then still we can't go out. This grass I now mash up the engine. You know. I carry a little bead. I go up in the hole with pump with black hole and the burn up the engine. So we can't fish. That's it. Like yeah, we crept them off of the beach. Yeah, we have to do, we have to do something, man. St. Thomas is not the only parish being affected. Some beaches across the island in Portland, St. Catherine and Westmoreland are being heavily impacted. Consulting ornithologist at NEPA, Damien White, has been out in the field. It attracts insects and it might be smelly. And people now want to swim out of the water because, you know, it scratch and some of the boatmen, um, it tie up them boat engine. NEPA is not against individuals removing the seaweed from beaches. NEPA is advising, however, that the use of heavy compacting equipment on the beach is not recommended and that special care should be taken to minimize the amount of sand that is removed during the cleanup activity. Meanwhile, Mr. White is warning against consumption of the seaweed. What we tell people to do is not um, drink it. During the COVID year, people are talking about so you can't use it to make medicine. It's not a cool idea. It has some stuff in it that is not good for you. He says there is an economic opportunity with the seaweed consolidating into large mats. In some of the Caribbean islands, what the people are doing, some people use it for animal food, and some other people use it um, as like a compost to make um, compost and make fertilizer. The National Environment and Planning Agency has partnered with the Faculty of Science and Technology at the University of the West Indies Mona campus to conduct research ranging from forecasting sargassum landings to the use of the seaweed in soil conditioning and as fertilizer. 